We are leaving Valeros after having our beautiful new solar art and panels put on over the last two days. So I'm well on the way now to for off-grid living from an electricity and a power perspective. It's coming. I know you've all been waiting for it. After an intense all-nighter battling strong winds in Atticos Bay, we finally made it to Poleros, and our next stop, Lefkas. Despite some birthing challenges in both locations this episode, the real excitement is just beginning. We're about to kick off on our long-awaited solar panel and battery installation, taking a huge step forward towards going off-grid on our sailboat. So, stay tuned, this is where the adventure really gets electrifying. If you're new here, we are Martin, Sharon and Taylor. Welcome to Sailing Trinity Season 2, A Greek Sun Odyssey, around the islands in 80 days. Ready to dive into today's adventure, friends? If you'd like to see more of our odyssey, hit the like and subscribe button now. Your engagement does wonders for the channel. Without further ado, let's dive right in and escape the ordinary together. We decided we're just going to circle around the entrance for a while until we get called in because it's quite difficult to discern as to whether or not there is a space available. Even when we came here with our sailing instructor, he was very much like, we need to get in here or we're not getting a spot. So it's a very popular harbour and it's a very small key. So yeah, we'll see how it goes. The boat ahead of us is leaving the key. So what, 15 minutes? 15 minutes, four boats are leaving. Okay, cool. That worked out well. Okay. Can you keep an eye then on the key? Uh, yeah. For them all, so that's... Cautious of the shallow entrance depths and boat traffic, we spent just under an hour circling this west coast Ionian town as we awaited delayed instruction, hoping for a spot to open up. Eventually, our luck turned around, and so did we, as we were finally waved into an open berth. Let's check in. Alright, we're heading in. Only half an hour later. In true Greek fashion. <laughs> Look, I can see their truck. Is that where he wants us? I don't know. That's where, that's they, where are. they are. Yeah. Oh, okay. Daisy line on this side, Sharon. Yeah, pull it in tight. I want to get away from this boat. Just keep them taking in that slack. The slack again. Put it in. Okay, good. Okay, Sharon, lock off the line. Look, just take everything down out of the way. And then, obviously, they're going to be coming on board to do their business. Yeah. Uh, it was knock off the Navy Onyx. The truck's kitted out. <laughs> yeah. Alright, let's go. We need a, a day break after <laughs> last night's gusty fiasco. Don't we now? Yep. Yeah. I feel like I'm the wa walking dead. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. Season 12 incoming. <laughs> I know you've all been waiting for it. Once docked, we decided to take a well-earned break and head out to relax for the evening, leaving the technicians to their securing of the frame and solar panels. While we're off, let's take a dive into the installation side of things. Solar power works by converting sunlight into electricity through photovoltaic cells in solar panels. For sailors, it's a preferred energy source because it's renewable, quiet, and requires little maintenance 
is compared to fuel generators. As of recent data, many sailing yachts now generate 20 to 40 percent of their electrical needs with solar, with some larger systems even covering nearly 100 percent for smaller boats. Additionally, custom solar arches on boats not only support solar panels but also serve as mounts for equipment like antennas, GPS units, and wind turbines. They can integrate storage for dinghies with davits, you'll see ours in left cast, provide shade through biminis, and offer additional safety with sturdy handrails. These arches combine functionality and aesthetics, making them a versatile and essential feature on modern yachts, just like their panel counterparts. Following morning, the team from Yacht24 arrived to fit the lithium battery system to accompany our newly installed solar. We then observed as the team wired, fit, and tested the lamp power lithium battery system alongside a complete suite of Victron Electronics. The MPPT controllers, Orions, Phoenix chargers, modified Fay. That will now take the lithium batteries. The isolators have been moved, everything's been moved around. Great job, really clean. So hi everyone, we're back in the aft cabin where we're installing the solar and the lithium. And just wanted to give you a bit of an update. And we've expanded the, the bays. We've labeled all the cables for future work, cleaned up all the bus bars, done some work around the inverter as well. So we're just going to do some more wiring today with a smart shunt in as well and get the batteries in uh, tomorrow and then we should be finished. I'm well on the way now to for off-grid living from a from an electricity and a power perspective. So we'll keep you updated anyway as, as the job progresses. Okay guys, see ya. Like most things on the boat, um, what it said on the sales document, like the advertisement, wasn't exactly true. So another one of the things that we were told when we bought the boat that it had seven or almost new AGM batteries in the bank. When we opened the bank up, we actually only had four 100 amp hour lead acid batteries, which is a, 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 the most basic technology, which explains why things were cutting out all the time and dying and battery alarms going off. They were the AGMs on the boat. In place of said AGM batteries, we decided to go for a much more reliable system that wouldn't disappoint. We know how important and daunting choosing the right battery storage tech for your boat can be. But trust us, after heaps of research, we chose Lampower's Life PO4 lithium batteries for a reason. There are thousands of great reviews online, the prices are great, and shipping is free across Europe. We've transformed our boat's energy storage system with them, and you can too. If you've been thinking about switching to lithium, the first step is to calculate your energy needs. To help you guys out, we're offering a free energy calculator to help you work out those very battery storage needs. Use code TRINITY5 for 5% off all land power solar products. All links in the description below. Thankful for a productive day of powering up, we decided to power down for the evening. Ready for our passage to Lefkast in the morning. Good morning. It's about half seven, maybe quarter to eight. And we are leaving Poleras after having our beautiful new solar art and panels put on over the last two days. We got some much needed rest and we had a lovely dinner last night. A place called Panorama that you should check out if you're in Poleras because it's the first time we've seen Indian food in Greece and it was very nice. But we are off to Left Cast Marina and we are having our dinghy dabbits or the fabric put on to attach our dinghy to the solar arch and I can't wait to have all this free space up here on the coach deck so it'll be a more efficient use of space it's not far to left cast about an hour and a half max two hours I believe still waking up see you see you there 
My butt is wet from <laughs> sitting on the sand locker. Oh, it's not nice. After two days of hard work in Poleros, our solar panel and lithium battery system are finally complete. We are now en route to Lefkas Marina on the eastern shore of Lefkada Island, a short nine nautical mile passage to complete our existing arch upgrade. Cloud watching is a lot of fun. There's many a different cloud formation in the meds. Oh, oh fuck me. Thank you. How much further? Oh, well, probably another uh, another hour at least, let's say. An hour. That's a really cool island full of birds. Ah, uh, can you see them all? There's one abandoned home. That's where Alfred Hitchcock lives. Well, we're on our first sail, or our first uh, passage after getting the solar panels installed. And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm not sure if I'm feeling a bit of heaviness at the back of the boat. I wouldn't be surprised, there's over 100 kilos being added on the back, so it would obviously affect performance a little bit. Although we're doing about 7.2 at the moment. Uh, we're on our way, the panels look great. There they are, lots of new shades. The arch itself is very, very sturdy. I'm um, heading to Lefkast to get some work done, uh, have the davits installed, the dinghy hoist. That's it really. Here's our first set of markers. Pretty bleak day. Isn't it? Not done. <laughs> yes, <laughs> that means yes. Yes, I was being given clearance by Christos. Okay, okay, wait, 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 wait. There's a dive ahead. Up there, where you go? Here. You don't know, yeah. Look there, there. I only sails. Look there, I work there. I, well, Christos told me. I work there, I fix the I, I understand, so. I understand. <laughs> Are they both on Ionian sails? Yes, they okay. have the same owner. Right. For this, I told you go there and this Where place. Whereabouts? Whereabouts? They have a place there in the middle if you want. You want to go there with the dinghy to show you? Yeah, yeah. please. Just gonna uh, get closer. The closer I am, the less breeze I get. Perfect. Thank you. Where are you thinking of going? Whereabouts? Did Yeah. Tell me that I'm clear up the top of the other boats. Never a dull moment. <laughs> After another hour maneuvering waiting for a berth, which we seem to have been cursed with this week, with the help of Ionian sales team, we finally docked in Lefkast. Soon more technicians will arrive to finish the job, installing blocks on the solar arch davits for the dinghy pulley system. While waiting for these final touches, we decided to take a brief detour. Let's check in. What do you say, kid in a candy store? <laughs> I need to talk to the man. Oh, that's it. Into the candy land. Yeah. Okay, yeah. I have a, I have Rapala redheads, very good always. Yeah, How yeah. many grams is? I, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, they're all not good. Not great. Okay. Always say <laughs> it. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, have, I have one. Okay. okay. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Are you happy? Good. Very nice. Okay, we're very happy. There's some beautiful people that don't try and rip you off. <laughs> very kind and helpful. And if we want to do it, yeah. is how much strength we need. Yeah. Every time we do the loop, Easier. we reduce at 50%. Okay, redirect it. Yeah, yes. yeah redirect it. Exactly. Yeah. So if we have a click like that, glue over here, or we can put directly the block. Yeah, directly with, the block. Get with an inox. You just reach out to people, people come running with tools. There you go. <laughs> you do, me. Sharon, can you get me this? Sharon, can you get me that? <laughs> I mightn't run, but I do get it for you. Bye bye again. See you, bye. Bye bye. Bye bye! This week's birthing curse aside, we're feeling pretty pumped after all the upgrades and how far we've come since we first moved aboard. With our boat now fully equipped with solar panels and a brand new lithium battery system, we're more than ready for the next leg of this 80 day adventure. The journey ahead just got a whole lot brighter, literally. Speaking of, we also have a very exciting passage planning session booked with some serious players in the Greek sailing market coming up next week. Take a second now to subscribe and hit the notification bell to be at the front of the class for that very adventure session. What do you guys think about our brand new solar arch, huh? Share your thoughts in the comments below and the crew will get back to it. We can't wait to escape the ordinary with you. See you there, guys!